blunt end ligation uh, it can also be carried out by using another type of synthetic molecules that are called as adapters so as i told you that ke adapters be jo hai wo commercially available molecules hain aur inka advantage ye hai ke iska एक एंड ब्लांट होता है और दूसरा एंड जो है वो स्टिकी या कोहिस्सव एंड होता है तो इसके दोनों एंड ब्लांट नहीं होते सो दिस सिंथेटिकली सिंथेसाइज मॉलिक्यूल दैट इज एडेप्टर इट कैन आल्सो बी यूज टू लाइगेट ब्लांट एंडेड डीएनए लाइक द लिंकर सो दिस एडोप्टर मॉलिक्यूल एज ए टोल्ड यू दैट it contain one cohesive end but at cohesive end the 5 prime phosphate it has been removed and it contains hydroxyl group so the removal of phosphate from the cohesive end it has advantage advantage ye hai ke jab phosphate cohesive end pe nahi hoga to uh, do ya teen ya char ya mixture mein jitne bhi एडेप्टर मॉलिक्यूल्स हैं वो आपस में लाइगेट नहीं कर पाएंगे सो द रिमूवल ऑफ फॉस्फेट विल प्रिवेंट द लाइगेशन और द सेल्फ लाइगेशन ऑफ द एडेप्टर्स मॉलिक्यूल सो वी विल मिक्स दीज एडेप्टर्स विद फॉरन डीएनए सो वन एंड इन द एडेप्टर इट इज ब्लांट and foreign dna or the source dna it is also having blunt ends so blunt ends they will be ligated with t4 dna ligase and then the fragments that joined with the adapters they are treated with certain enzymes like kinases so that uh, we can introduce phosphate at 5 prime cohesive ends now it is ready to join with the vector molecule for example adapter molecules are available that uh, have five prime overhangs or sticky ends that are digested with bamh1 so vector can also be uh, uh, cut with bamh1 so that uh, the complementarity it is there between plasmid dna and uh, the source dna so how we can use adapters molecule for blunt end ligation so we will discuss it with the help of a diagram so this molecules it is an adapter as i told you that at 5 prime end the phosphate has been removed and it contain hydroxyl group so that the adapter in a mixture they will not ligate themselves so different adapters they will not join together rather they will join with the source dna so the foreign dna that contain phosphate at both five prime ends it is mixed with adapter molecules that is having oh groups at the cohesive ends so the dna ligase in the presence of atp it will mediate the reaction so that the adapters they will be joined with the source dna now it is treated with kinase reaction is atp mediated so that phosphates can be introduced as at 5 prime end so this is an adapter molecule suppose it contain this cohesive end that are similar uh, that has been created with the digestion with bam h1 so the vector molecule it can also be treated with bam h1 so that the source dna and the plasmid dna it may have same sticky ends so then they are mixed together and then they are ligated in vitro so that we can get a recombinant molecule as i told you that it contain bamh1 site so this adapter it is uh, the example of bamh1 adapter so it contain the restriction site for bamh1 so that even after transformation we can isolate the recombinant molecule from the host organism और इसको बैम एच वन के साथ ट्रीट करने के बाद हम अपना फॉरेन डीएनए जो है या जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट जो है इसको रिमूव कर लेते हैं या एक्सरसाइज कर लेते हैं सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द एग्जांपल 
of the use of adapter molecule with BAM H1 cohesive ends. So, the linker molecules are adapter molecules. They can be used to ligate blunt ends. And blunt end ligation, so it is very well facilitated. The main difference between linker and the adapter molecule is that, as you may have noticed that, in linker, the both ends, they are blunt, whereas in case of adapter, the one end, it is cohesive and the other end, it is blunt. So, in both cases, after transformation, after replication of the uh, artificial recombinant uh, molecule in a suitable host organism, after treating with BAMH1 or any other enzyme, we can excise the whole target or the foreign DNA. So, this is one of the advantage of the use of linker are the adapter molecules that can mediate the blunt and ligation.